depreciable assets, property plant equipment will be defined this way, will have the characters this way, used during more than one year, used more than one year, it can be usable for more than one year and that too it has a limited life, limited useful life. Okay. Understand this, limited useful life, it will have the life, but it has a limited useful life, is that okay? So the asset will be useful for 4 or 5 years, after that also it is useful, but it is not economically viable. Okay, I have a bike, in the very first year it is very comfortable, I do not have any repair expenses, 15 years later the same bike if I use what happens, repair expenses will be heavier and halfway through I have to always carry the bike if I am being triple R type, triple R type, have you seen that movie, R, 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 such a way I have to carry the bike, that problem will, will be there, have you seen that or not, okay. useful life, that uh, bike may be useful for 7 or 8 years, after 7 or 8 years of course it is still working but it will create lots of problems. So, we have two different types of uh, life here, one is useful life, another one is physical life. I am talking about the useful life here, you understand that? So, useful life, you have to note it down, it is not physical life, useful life. And uh, this is held by the enterprise, this is enterprise used by an enterprise for use, for use in what? Either they can use the asset for production or supply of goods and services. Okay, using the plant and machinery, I can manufacture furniture. Okay, using the plant and machinery, I can do uh, any services or I can render any services. Okay, what sort of services I am able to do? In the case of construction industry, for the concrete, concrete mixture. So, I need to depend on the plant and machinery, concrete mixture, where the cement and the stones are mixed together to prepare the concrete mixture for the laying the roof and all. So, where concrete mixture is used for rendering some sort of services to you also being a part and uh, car spa, car cleaning and whatever it may be, water cleaning that also be coming under services. For that I may use that entire equipments for cleaning the car will be also my asset. And whether I use it or not for my production or rendering the service, I can let it out for somebody else. I have 10 cars in the Zoom car. You might have heard about the car, Zoom car, self-owned car, self-driven car. Rather than you can get the car in hire, you can get the car in rental and you can drive yourself. That's called self-driven car. It's available predominantly in Trichy also in Zoom car. You can get it for a day's rent and you can travel. So, Zoom car purchased around 10 or 20 cars and kept for renting purpose only, that is also their asset. And it may be used for administrative purposes also, to bring the office staff and uh, printing machineries uh, and billing machines and all there in the office will also be an asset and not for the purpose immediately, not for the purpose for sale in the ordinary course of business immediately. So, they are not going to if I am being the furniture mart owner, I am purchasing the furniture. What is the intention? Selling the furniture. And there is a Basant and Co. They are purchasing the fridges and bureau and all. Okay. Fridge may be an asset for us or petty shop owner. But for Basant and Co. or any other electronics, sharp electronics, whoever it may be, they purchase it for sale. So that will be coming under purchases, not asset. So you have to keep this point in your mind also will be part of the depreciable assets, so property, plant and equipment. Is that clear?